Hello, everyone. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville, brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker 202, West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call up at 404-800-7585 or visit their website at hockeylockermilwaukee.com. They will outfit you with all your hockey needs. They're right across the street from Wilson Park. All righty. Before we get into today's game, I still want to throw a special shout out to Hockey Lottery here again for having us again and to all the mothers, including mine and John's, for giving us the light. <laughs> um, I also wanted to thank um, the friends. Uh, they've done a great job at drafting us some amazing talent, and um, they don't get enough credit in our fan base sometimes because. Uh, of where we're located, there's a lot of Blackhawks, Red Wings, and then Wild fans, just because of general location. We're close to those teams. But, all righty, enough about those things. Let's get into the all-powerful Game 5. It's like a Game 7, if you had to go 7. <laughs> but, there's only five games in this series, so... Let's get in it. All right. So the Milwaukee Admirals took on the Texas Stars today. Series tied at two apiece. This is the final game in the series. Shots on goal in the first period. Milwaukee outshot Texas nine to seven. In the second period, Texas outshot Milwaukee thirteen to six. In the third period, Texas outshoots Milwaukee twelve to ten. And in total, Texas outshoots Milwaukee thirty-two to twenty-five. On the power play, Texas goes two for five with eight minutes, four infractions, while Milwaukee goes two for four with 10 minutes, five infractions. All right, so let's get into the scoring. Scoring did not take long. Anyways, in the first period, 40, <laughs> yeah, 43 seconds in for the Admirals is Zach LaRue scoring his fourth of the postseason, assisted by Adam Wellsby, his second, and Yusuf Parson in his fifth. Then literally, let's see, I believe 15 seconds later at the 58-second mark, Zach LaRue scores again with his second of the game, fifth of the postseason, assisted by Yusuf Parson in his sixth, and Adam Wellsby, his third. Then at the 537 mark, Texas gets on the board from Matei Blummel, scoring his fifth of the postseason. On the power play, assisted by Christian Cairo, his sixth, and Justin Herkolian, uh, his second. Then at the 1346 mark of the first period, Cal O'Reilly scores his second of the postseason on the power play, assisted by Ozzy Weisblatt, his second, and Fedor Svechkov, his second. Scoring in the second period. What was that? I was going to say, you got to get it right. It's Cal. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, scoring in the second, there was nothing. In the third, you have at the 157 mark, Oscar Beck scoring his second was it on the power play. Um, was an assist from Maverick Bork, his ace, and Emilio Pedersen, his third. Then at the 7.15 mark, Fedor Svechkov scores his second on the power play with an assist from Joachim Kebel, his second, and Jordan Gross, his first of the playoffs on the power play. Then the empty netter came from the big red dog, Reed Schaefer. You know, Mr. Suspended for last game comes in, gets the clincher. Um, That was at the... 17-18 mark, unassisted, and then Frederick Carlstrom scores at the 17-56 mark. Uh, his third, unassisted, Schaefer, that was his first um, of the play. First career um, playoff goal for him. And as much as I wanted LaRue to get the hat trick because he deserved it, um, I'll take Schaefer after what he went through of that BS suspension. Yeah. Um, as far as BS in this game, LaRue's tripping call. Yeah, was, what was that? I didn't see a thing that looked like a good hip check to me. That was a hip check, sir. That was a hip check. That was a <laughs> hip check in open ice. I'm sorry. Uh, your guy ended up getting corkscrewed on that one. You know, you're going to call a trip on a guy getting corkscrewed? 
in open ice. I mean, I get it. That's where the dangerous, the injuries come in. The penalty, you know, I get it. But tripping, I could. If you said kneeing, intent to injure, uh, any of those things, I I might have been like, okay, I get it. But it wasn't that. It was tripping. He didn't trip him. All right. Even the PA announcer was like tripping. I guess pretty much. Like you could tell he was like, "Is this the right call I'm calling?" Yeah, there's there's moments where you're just sitting there going, man, they're just trying to, you know, like, because the linesmen were horrible. The, uh, and, and, and normally I don't go after the linesmen, but the linesmen were absolutely god awful today. We were across the red line at least twice when they called icing. And if you're across the red line, which is center ice, if you're across center ice, you, you can't get an icing call. It's not icing. It's just dumping the puck in. You called icing three times in a row they did this. I thought I saw a couple offsides not called, too. And that was on, on Texas' side, including the one that where they scored that goal. The last goal of the game? Yeah. No, I, I've been a fan a long time. When you're down by two, I could see calling a timeout with 40 seconds left. But nine... Nine seconds? You really think you're going to get two goals in nine seconds? I, I, I just didn't see it. Now, as much as I want it, it pains me to say this, this is probably the best Texas played in our building. Yeah. In this series. That is the best that Texas is. And they were oh, all, what, all their goals were on the power play? Except for one? Yep. And that one, they had an empty net. So they had six guys on the ice. So, I mean, I get it, but... I mean, we knew we had this in the bag in the first minute of the game. Yeah. Like, in the first 58 seconds, you're down 2 nothing. It, it wasn't a good night for, for Texas. Um... On to Grand Rapids now. Um, yeah. What do I know about that series? Well, let's take a look here and see what they did against Rockford. Uh, won the first game, lost the second game, won the third and fourth. They have not played since the fifth. So they have been off since Monday? Um, a week. If they last played the fifth, it would be a week today. Okay. And they don't play till the 15th. Right. Another three days. That's 10 days off. Just not sure that's going to be a thing. Uh, their top scorer is Jonathan Berggren with two goals, two, uh, or sorry, three goals, two assists, five points. Uh, Carter Mazer. So uh, he has a. Uh, one goal, three assists, four points. Austin Sarnik, he has three goals, one assist, four points. Uh, Dominic Scheid, he has one goal, two assists, three points. And Brogdon Rafferty has two assists. For the Admirals, uh, it's leading the way in the playoffs is Zach LaRue with five goals, four assists. Yusuf Parson with one goal, six assists. Fedor Smetchkov with two goals, two assists, four points. Um, Adam Willsby with three assists and Tomasino with three goals. So already, if you look at it by scoring standards, yes, we played one more game, but we out done them now. I will look into this. Uh, 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 why don't they have the previous meetings up there? I understand this, that part of it, but let's just check here. Uh, doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. Um, yeah, they don't have any head-to-head -head stats, it looks like. Yeah, that's that's kind of where it's 
Um, Uh, oh, trying to find the last time we played Grand Rapids. We did play them in March. Um, we won four to two. Uh, we played them in March thirtieth as well. Um, we won that one two to one. Uh, April. Uh, they beat us in, in our last game two to one. So, um, and in all of the uh, the only games that they lost, Troy Grosnick was in debt. Um, in those two months, um, trust me, I'm going back here through month by month. Um. In February, uh, they beat us four to two after we went on a 19 game win streak. And that one in net was Yaroslav Askarov. Uh, from the looks of it, uh, like half our roster was out. Uh, they came in and just smacked us right in the mouth. Uh, then you have March, January. January, we beat them by January 10th, 3-2. to two. Uh, they beat us December 1st, 4 to 1. In that, that night, one. Yaroslav Askarov, he let in three goals. Uh, Dennis Giryanov was a minus three in that game. He's not even with our roster. This is a whole different team by this point. So I don't think that any of that particularly pertains. But night two. Against Grand Rapids, we went back and smacked them in the mouth four to two. So um, I believe that looks like the season series was kind of like a split. Uh, they beat us November 4th. Uh, October. We didn't play. Okay. Uh, they beat us two to one, and in that was Yarrow. He stopped 35 with 37. That's a lot of shots. Yeah. Um, in that game, minus two was Dennis Giriadov. So, the, the guys that were out there, you know, and, and to give credit where credit is due, some of these guys are like, Jankowski's not here anymore. Um, Angelo hasn't played in a while. Um, so, well, uh, Livingstone and Statsny were a minus two as well. Um, so, with that being said, uh, not a whole lot, I'm sure, on what to say, but yeah, that's all I got. Uh, um, in other news, Tanner Mullendike's uh, junior team was eliminated. It'll be interesting to sit here and see uh, where they line up next. Uh, we will be back on Wednesday in that today was Troy Grosnick. Um, do you still have the stats up? Because mine just, my internet just went down on my, uh,
Yeah, what do you need? Goal, I got it. Goalie stats. Working on it. Oh, good. Now I got to fix everything. All right, here we go. In net for the star starting the game was Ben Cross. Cross stopped six of nine, while Remy Poirier stopped 14 of 15. In net for the Admirals was Troy Grosnick stopping 29 of 32. Um... Attendance was 4,800. I'm actually surprised by that. Um, by the way, uh, 62, Mitchell Hunt, horrible lines, uh, linesman. Um, also not a fan of Cody Beach. Um, I, I haven't been a fan of him for the last couple years. Uh, when I see his name, I know we're going to get a lot of penalties called on us. Because he'll call everything on us. So, just... I know one of those situations where it was us versus the refs and we won. <laughs> mm -hmm. They had an extra four guys out there and we still won. <laughs> At one point, though, the, one of their guys did run into the linesman and he just leveled him. The, the linesman, not the player. The player got leveled. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but uh, like I said, uh, we're back Wednesday, the 15th, versus Grand Rapids, game one, UW Panther Arena. The, 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 the noise needs to be um, up. volume all the way up. If, if, you, if you got a noisemaker, if you got, they'll give you a cowbell. Get there early, they'll give you a cowbell. We're, we're right. I'm ready to go already. And I'm sure there are some guys in that locker room who may be hurting, but they're ready to go already. They're like, bring it on. Let's go. Mm -hmm. You know, um, the Admirals do seem to have um, uh, their swagger that they had starting in, in 2024. They, they have that swagger about them again. Um, I'm not saying it's here to stay. I'm just saying it just seems that way. Yeah. Um, nothing, not trying to take anything away from Greg Rapids because Greg Rapids is a very capable team. Yeah. Very well coached. Very well. They play well. They have good prospects over there. Uh, may not be a fan of a couple of them like Shine and Rafferty. And just those aren't my kinds of players. I don't particularly care for them. But just that's the the mindset I'm in at the moment. Um, we'll see how I feel after Wednesday. <laughs> I really don't like Dominic Shine. I have not liked him for years. So there's your one. Um, in this series, it was uh, Petrovic and uh, Mackenzie. Those guys are just always yelling and chirping at people and play a little on the borderline of dirty. Um, Mackenzie was definitely dirty in that third um, with punching one of our guys going onto the bench, which is an automatic one-game suspension. We'll see what happens there. Will the league suspend him? Who knows? It'll be one game next year. So it's just like, oh, you know, you're suspended for the first game of the season, you know, kind of thing. So uh, we'll see where that is. Um, got anything else you want to add, John, other than Troy's been playing out of his mind? Yeah. Uh, by the way, your three stars of the game, third star of the game was Cal. Oh, Riley. Second star of the game was Troy Grosnick. First star of the game was Zach LaRue. Uh, Cal had a goal and an assist, if I remember correctly. At least that's what they said at the game. But that locker room couldn't be tighter, and uh, that's all I got for you. Uh, thank you all for watching. See you all Wednesday.